Hi everyone, this is Raja from RK Vision Academy. Today we are going to see the topic Simple Interest and Compound Interest. Last class, we have Simple Interest and Interest with the basics. So here we are going to see the, some more problems to solve the Simple Interest and Compound Interest based problems. First we recall the Simple Interest. So Simple Interest in Abhin Pakla, Simple Interest. So simple interest formula S i is equal to P T R divided by 100. P T R divided by 100. So here P is principal amount. So P is called as principal and T is term period. So R is rate of interest. This is the formula for calculating the simple interest. Here amount is no formula. So amount is equal to principal plus simple interest. So principal P simple interest P T R by 100 which is equal to P 1 plus RT by 100. This is the formula for finding amount in based on simple interest. So, the base peninsula problems. First, I am going to see the problem number 1. Find the simple interest for the 2500 rupees 15 percentage for 2 years. So, principal amount is 2500 rupees and rate of interest is 15 percentage terms equal to 2 years so which is equal to SI simple interest is equal to PTR divided by 100 so which is equal to 2500 into term and the 2 years and rate of interest 15 percentage divided by 100 so 0 0 getting cancelled getting cancelled so 2 15s are 30 25 into 30 which is equal to <coughs> 750 rupees is the amount for 750 rupees is the amount for simple interest so I am going to find the simple interest is 750 rupees next one more question we are going to do this question number 2 5,235 rupees 5,235 rupees invested at 8% per annum for 1 year 8 months 1 year 8 months so how to calculate here giving P is equal to 5,235 rate of interest R is equal to 8% term T is equal to 1 year 8 months 8 month so it can be converted by proper way so 1 8 by 12 is years 1 8 by 12 which becomes a 1 12 is 12 plus 8 20 divided by 12 years 20 divided by 12 years so we then cancel for now 6 2s are 12 10 2s are 20 and 3 2s are 6, 5 2 are 10. 5 divided by 3, yes, this is the proper form of T. Next, we are going to find simple interest. So, simple interest is SI is equal to PTR divided by 100. Principal amount is 500 and 5235 rupees in the term on the 5 divided by 3 into 100 into rate of interest is 8 percentage so we are going to cancel 1 3 is at 3 1 3 is at 3 remainder 2 7 3 is at 21 remainder 2 4 3 is at 12 remainder 1 5 3 is at 15 and 0 we getting cancelled 1 5 is at 5 25 is at 30 2 4 is at 8 5 4 is at 20 1 5 is at 5 
3 5s are 15 remainder 2 4 5s are 20 remainder 4 9 5s are 45 so final amount is 349 into 2 which is equal to 698 rupees is the simple interest so this is the simple interest for 5235 rupees at rate percentage per annum for one year eight months deposited so this is very easy calculation first look at this rate of percentage and term term will be based on years only so it is it will be given by month means you converted by year terms so terms month we will convert we will proceed the problem next we are going to do one more problem problem number three 8125 rupees invested by 14 2 divided by 5 per annum percentage per 2 years 3 months so first we are taking principal amount is equal to 8125 rate of interest is equal to 12 2 by 5 it becomes 12 5 are 60 62 divided by 5 percentage terms equal to 2 years 3 months 3 divided by 12 which is equal to 2 12 are 24 plus 3 27 by 12 4 3 are 12 9 3 are 21 9 by 4 years so this is easy math I am going to apply SI si is equal to PRT by 100 which is equal to principal amount is 8125 into rate of interest is what is the rate of interest here 8 rate of interest 62 divided by 5 into and uh, the term will be 9 by 4 the whole divided by 100 so it will be cancelling each other what we get <coughs> 1 5 star 5 1 5 star 5 reminder 3 6 5 star 30 reminder 1 2 5 star 10 reminder 2 5 5 star 25 next we are going to divide by table 25 is 100, 3 5 is 15, remainder 1, 2 5 is 10, remainder 2 5 5 is 25, 4 5 is 20, so 6 5 is 30, 5 5 is 25, 65. So 65 into 62 into 9 divided by 4 into 4 is the amount. The simple interest is 65 into 62 into 9 divided by 16 so what is the amount we are calculate we can multiply 65 and 62 what we get which is equal to 9. we are multiply 65 62 9 we got 36,270 divided by 16 divided by 16 we got 2266.875 rupees so this is the simple interest amount for this calculation now you understand how to find the simple interest problem so it's very easy one next we are going to one different problem so see the question here find the simple interest on 7300 find the simple interest on 7300 so principal amount is 7300 rate of interest is 15 percentage and annum from april 28 term on the april 28 to november 4 november 4 so this is the duration of uh, period so this is a different problem so april 28 to november 4 so i am going to calculate how to convert e year so april 28 to november 4 we got 190 days overall 190 days 
so divided by 365 is it clear this is the days so it should be years 190 divided by 365 so now I am going to calculate simple interest is equal to PRT divided by 100 which is equal to 7300 divided by 365 into 15 whole divided by 100 0 0 getting cancelled so 365 195 so I am going to divide 15 table 115 sir 15 215 sir 30 so not possible 3 5 sir 15 6 5 sir 3 5 sir 15 uh, 6 5 sir 30 7 5 sir 35 7 5 sir 35 remains 373 73 and 73 getting cancelled so 190 into 3 190 into 3 3 into 190 we got 570 is the answer so simple interest amount is 570 rupees so it's easy to calculate so this is a type of problem based on dates based on month we are going to convert the yes based on date we are going to convert the yes so now you understand how to calculate the simple interest next one more question we will do Find the rate of interest. Find the rate of interest per annum if sum borrowed becomes double in 5 years. Sum borrowed becomes double in 5 years. So here term is clearly given 5 years. Sum borrowed becomes double that is given. So amount is equal to amount is equal to 2 times of principal. 2 times of principal. Find the rate of interest. So rate of interest we will get the we know the formula amount is equal to P into 1 plus RT divided by 100. So principal P into 1 plus rate of interest we know that we don't know T is 5 divided by 100. A is equal to 2P because amount should be twice the um, principal. So P and P getting cancelled. 1 5 is 5, 25 is 100. So 2 is equal to 1 plus r by 20 so i am going to calculate 2 equal to the cross multiply for 20 plus r divided by 20 so the cross multiply for 40 minus 20 is equal to r r is equal to 20 percentage so rate of interest is 20 percentage per annum this is very easy question actually same kind of question we are going to see uh, amount should be thrice the principal amount amount should be twice the principal amount these kind of problems we are going to solve this method so in the my problems based on only similar methods so this question is very important for that next we are going to see the topic compound interest next we are going to see compound interest so compound interest formula recall panikla. compound interest amount is equal to p times 1 plus r by 100 the whole to the power n here p is principal r is rate of interest rate of interest n is duration n is duration this is the formula for amount compound interest amount compound interest is equal to compound interest is equal to amount minus principal so we know the formula amount is principal into 1 plus r by 100 whole power n minus p i am going to take p as a common 1 plus r by 100 the whole power n minus 1 is the calculation of compound interest so, either this money, knowledge problems, we are getting the some clarification. First question number one. Silesh lends a sum 6000 to Kalyan at rate of interest 10 percentage per annum compounded, compounded annually. Find the amount at the end of two years. So, principal is 6000, rate of interest is 10 percentage. 
ड्यूरेशन इज टू इयर्स कांपउंड इंट्रस्ट फैंड द अमौंट अट द एंड आफ इयर अमौंट इज ईक्वल पी इंटू वन प्लस आर बै हंड्रेड द हॉल टू दि पार एन प्रिंसिपल अमौंट सिक्स तउस वन प्लस टेन बै हंड्रेड हॉल पार टू विच इज ईक्वल सिक्स तउस इंटू I am going to cancel this. One by ten, ten plus one eleven, eleven by ten into eleven by ten. Zero zero getting cancelled. So sixty into one twenty one. We got the amount sixty to one twenty one is equal to. Easily we can find. सेवन तौस टू सिक्सटी रुपी सेवन तौस टू सिक्सटी रुपी इतना कामपउंड इंट्रस्ट कैपिटा फॉमला सो इट्स इतने सिंपल इंट्रस्ट यूस पड़ी पड़ा इयर बै इयर नम कलेट पड़ा सो प्रिंसिपल अमौंट शुट बी वेरी वी आर गोयिंग टू सी दन मोर प्राब्लम प्राब्लम नंबर टू कांपउंड इंट्रस्ट श्रीकांत बारोड सम आफ ट्वेल तउस पीज ईक्वल टू ट्वेल तौस श्रीकांत बारो ट्व तौस फ्रम फिना कंपनी अट् द रेट आफ इंट्रस्ट ट्वेंटी पर्संटेज पाँव ट्वेंटी पर्संटेज पर आनम अंडर कांपउंड इंट्रस्ट कंपउंड आनवली फैंड द अमौंट अंड सी फार पीरियड आफ टू इयर्स एन इज ईक्वल टू इयर्स फैंड कांपउंड इंट्रस्ट अंड अमौंट अमौंट इज ईक्वल ट्वेल तौस एम सारी रईट द फार्मला फर्स्ट P into one plus R by hundred whole to the power n. So I'm going to substitute the value. It's so equal to twelve thousand one plus twenty divided by hundred the whole power two. This is equal to twelve thousand into zero zero getting cancelled one five five plus six six by five into six by five. One five sir five. Two five are ten, four five are twenty, zero zero. One five are five, five four five are twenty. Remainder four, eight five are forty, zero four eighty. Four eighty into thirty six. So my final answer is four eighty into thirty six. Seventeen thousand two eighty rupees. Seventeen thousand two eighty rupees. Seventeen thousand two eighty rupees is the amount. Next, we are going to find compound interest. Compound interest is C I is equal to amount minus principal. So amount seventeen thousand two eighty rupees. Principal is twelve thousand. So my final answer is five thousand two eighty rupees is the compound interest. Do you understand how to find the compound interest value? Next, we are going to see one more problem. It's different from that. The next question is, Q and R borrowed twenty-six thousand and twenty-five thousand respectively. So we are going to compare two persons, Q and R. So I am going to divide the screen into Q and R. Okay. So principal amount is here is twenty six thousand and here principal amount is twenty five thousand for a period of two years. So T is equal to two, T is equal to two. Q paid simple interest at the rate of two percentage per annum. So rate of interest is equal to two percentage is simple interest. Here rate of interest is equal to R paid compound interest at the same rate. Here also two percentage, but it is compound interest, compounded annually. Who did paid more interest and by how much? Yar adhikama pay pannraanga garde calculate pannu. So first I am going to find simple interest. Y S I is equal to P R T divided by hundred, which is equal to twenty six thousand into two into two divided by hundred. Zero zero getting cancelled. My final answer is. Twenty two sixty into four, two sixty into four, which is equal to thousand forty rupees. Simple interest for P. Next, we are going to find compound interest principal into one plus R by hundred whole per yen, which is equal to sorry, it's amount. Amount is equal to 
P into 1 plus R by 100 equal to power N. Principal amount is 25,000 into 1 plus 2 by 100 whole power 2. This is equal to 25,000 into 100 plus 2, 102 into 102 divided by 100 into 100. So getting 4 zeros, getting 3 zero cancel. So 1 zero is here. Will be 10. So 2 fives are 10, 5 fives are 25, 1 twos are 2, 51 twos are 102. So amount is 5 into 51 into 102. 5 into 51 into 102. So answer is compound <coughs> amount value is wait a minute. So amount value is 26,010 rupees. So compound interest is equal to amount minus principal is equal to 1010 rupees because 25,000 here, 26,000 here, 1010 rupees. So simple interest 1040, compound interest 1010 rupees. So difference is Q paid more than P by interest more to interest. 30 rupees so this is the final answer q is 30 rupees that is paid for simple interest 1040 rupees so now you understand what is simple interest what is compound interest thank you everyone